Welcome everybody to part five of the Switzer Lake videos and I know it's been a long time this, this series has been going for over a month now but we are almost there across the finish line in this video we're going to be going to war with Hungary the final war against France and we're going to be setting up ourselves for a big war against the Ottomans. We're gonna cliffhanger you at the end of the video for that war, so you're gonna have to watch that next week, but there's still a lot of little important things that go on in this one, such as getting Spain as an ally back once again. And we're definitely gonna need them in that war against the Ottomans. So keep on watching these videos. I'm really glad that you all uh, continue to watch these and well, enjoy. Alrighty, a new election, 212-363-206. Uh, you know what? Let's, uh, let's just go for the 363. We'll forego some of the, uh, Republican tradition. We've been excommunicated again. Evangelical Union is victorious. The war of religion in the empire has ended in victory for the Evangelical Union. The emperor has been forced to abdicate and Protestantism is the dominant faith in the empire. And Styria got released. Derungia and Lubeck would come in, but... That's free land for me, baby. Where are these other two countries? Oh. Oh, a lot of uh, countries got called in. That's fine. <sighs> we walk onto it and it's 7%. Boom. Let's use some of these points to... Dev up. The gold mine. Oops, up to 11. Whoopsies. Another government reform. We are up to 9 now. Consolidation of power plus 2 advisors, monthly autonomy change. Or stability cost modifier, all power cost minus 2. I think I like that better. Defensive in the mountains. What are you guys doing? You're fighting me in my castles on the mountains! See, this is exactly what I was talking about. It doesn't matter if they come into a war against me, because I'll just wipe them out. Another defensive battle for us, and we just keep winning battle after battle. Let's see, where are these other smaller nations? Brandenburg, Amberg, Rupin, Straussburg. Oh, I could annex Straussburg. I'd take another uh, person out of the coalition at least. And now we are kind of at the point where... Oh, they're still hostile towards us. That's weird. I'm kind of at the point where we are so powerful we can just continuously juggle the coalition so like i got into this war against styria immediately and then as long as i'm at constant war taking more provinces the coalition will just get smaller and smaller because i'll just keep taking those countries like it'll be massive ae if i were to take this right now but I have allies. Hungary would get called in. Eh, I don't need to. Uh, we don't actually have anything here. That's weird. Uh, I mean, resistance to reformation. May as well do that. Now, the only bad thing would be is if like Spain joined the coalition. That would be nightmarish. Strasbourg is over. Now let's see, if I take this, AE would be 38. Everyone that is already pissed at me would stay pissed at me. But does Spain get on that list? 
If I were to take that. Let's just take it. That's another fort for us, too. And we can convert that province to Catholic as well. And the next country we need to take out is going to be, what, Brandenburg? Hamburg is all the way up there. Lubeck. Oh, Lubeck was an ally, but now they got, uh, that sucks. All right. I guess uh, we got to take Lubeck out of this war, too. Let's finish sieging down Brandenburg, though. Country is this Rupin? Oh, we gotta take them out as well. There we go. We are behind on the tech right there. And then with this. Oh, truce expired with France. I gotta declare war on them immediately. They're gonna join the coalition. Let's do that. We'll bring Holland into the war. Hungary is. Ah, hold on. I need to ask you to break your alliance. I cannot. I don't have enough favors. All right, I guess France is just going to join that coalition then. That's unfortunate. Yes, force religion. I will make them Catholic again. And I guess break your alliance. Fulfill the mission, the Geneva Convention. Cool. Let's get that Miltech 14. And the most important thing about Miltech 14 is the fact now that I can uh, have upgraded forts. Why is it only at 99%? Someone else in this war that I forgot about? Nope, it's just Styria. So let's take everything. A, E, be damned. The entire world is going to hate us, but a lot of the world has a, uh, a truce with us. Now we can get back to spying on Austria. All right, now from here, uh, I need to build some castles out this way. I want to take a bunch of loans for this too. Now that we're not at war, we can save some money. I do want to take advantage of the fact that we are uber defensive. Let's see, have any manufactory? No country has more than 15 aggressive expansion. That's never going to happen. So let's take some more burger loans. There's so many things for like Monopoly, Monopoly, Monopoly. It's like, I, I don't really want to do that. So we did it to the burgers. Let's buy that manufactory like they want. And then I need to upgrade after doing this, I want to upgrade all of my forts. All of them. And this coalition will be impossible to break because despite being at plus 100 relations with everybody, aggressive expansion minus 167. Aggressive expansion Minus 81. <laughs> We'd have to sit here for like 70 years before the AE finally went down. But, uh, I mean, Hungary, you're looking pretty tasty. You're allied to France, and I do want to eat France. Mm. <laughs> if I broke my alliance with Hungary, though, I would need to probably get an alliance with something like, ooh, Russia's big. Russia doesn't like us either. Hostile relations. Aggressive expansion, nine. 
They are tolerated he heretics. Let's see about making Russia a little bit friendlier. That's just uh, the point we're at at the game. I stopped playing it slowly. This is the best we can do. We even get any more allies on this continent. Uh, the Commonwealth is weird. Silly popped out? Herzegovina popped out. Okay, you know what? Maybe getting some of these uh, one province miners won't be a bad idea. I think I do want to break the alliance with Hungary. They don't care about the aggressive expansion while they're allied to us. <coughs> it would break alliance with France. Actually, let's... Trade favors for ducats. Favors for soldiers. We saw 70 favors. Break an alliance with France. Reduce your opinion of... Oh, I don't know. Who else do you like? Guaranteeing the independence of the Commonwealth. They're warned by the Ottomans. Reduce your opinion of Russia, sure. Current minus 145, never mind. You know, that was kind of dumb, because I wanted to go to war with Hungary in the first place. So I could take the rest of France. The Emperor Thuringia. Okay. Alright, who is the uh, HRE Emperor now that it is a uh, Protestant? It's Thuringia. With Stettin, Brandenburg, Augsburg, Utrecht, Landshut, Beirut, and Berg. This means Austria is not in the HRE anymore, right? Oh, they are, and Thuringia, <laughs> they still have the league with them, too. Hmm. Hmm. It seems some mistakes have been made. Do I really just have to AFK for 70 years now? <laughs> All right, let's roll the dice one more time. And it's the 351. Not bad. We are way behind on the admin power, so I hope I could find a better admin guy. I will say, though, the aggressive expansion modifier stuff, I feel like when you get a new leader, it should go down a little faster because, you know, it's a new guy in charge, right? That would make sense, wouldn't it? Not like, oh, well, maybe they'll be different now that there's a new guy in charge and they won't be as aggressive, you know? Ottomans are big. Oh, if only I could ally them. I'd win every single war. It's because we don't have a navy. Because they have 200,000 troops. Morocco would ally us. I like how Russia never integrated Perm, but they still formed Russia. 
All right, yeah, so uh, we can probably not go back to war with Austria because they're in the HRE. It would call in the entire coalition and yeah. I could go to war with Hungary. Hungary is alone out there. The only issue is... Well, I don't care about Denmark. The only issue is if I drop the alliance with Hungary, the Ottomans will probably eat them up immediately. So I can't expand into Hungary. I can't really expand into England because England is my only other ally. So, I guess I just have to wait for the... I just have to wait for the aggressive expansion to go down. So, a couple mistakes made, but... We'll be fine. We'll play tall for the next, what, 70 years? AE goes down by... 3 per year. So, not even. Only... 30 years. I think that's fine. I can just chill for 30 years, build up my own economy. And yeah, I guess just from here, we sit and do nothing. Ooh, more admin power. Thank you. We are behind on the admin tech. And I think I want to take another military idea once we get there. Because as much as I want to take probably something in the administrative ideas so we can get more ideas, uh, I mean, maybe administrative ideas, possible advisors, core creation cost minus 25%. That doesn't actually get us anything. Let's see. And with espionage, advisor costs and corruption, diplomats, monthly autonomy. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't get us anything. So we'll probably go for quality. I don't really need plutocratic. Uh, but quality, half of it is boats. Eh, offensive. We got defensive. Let's go offensive after this. Here we go. Let's get that Diplotech. The new idea group is going to be offensive. That way we could just take things faster siege ability land force limit discipline maybe quantity wouldn't be bad actually that way i can field an army of all my own guys instead of mercenaries so yeah let's just take quantity and then we'll like have an army to rival the size of uh, friggin the Ottomans uh, we would be ahead of time on the Diplotech but uh, we're not really doing much with our Diplotech aside from developing which you know, we have there All right, we'd call this our uh, consolidation arc. We are pulling back on the reins a little bit, making sure that our country can still function. I'm okay with relaxing for 30 years. I am a-okay with that. This is fine. English conquest of Lothian against Scotland. Scotland is allied with Brittany and Liege. Yeah, sure. I mean, I'm not going to do anything. All right, so people are starting to leave the coalition. Uh-oh. Hungary is at war with Spain. 
Well, it's a good thing uh, Hungary did not ask me to come defend them. Holy cow. Now might be a good time to dissolve that alliance with Hungary. Definitely going to lose these uh, borderlands, and I would want a lot of what's happening over there. Uh, Silly would be vassalized. How many cores does Silly have? Uh, Just a few, but... I can vassalize Silly. That's free real estate, literally. Can I diplo vassalize anyone else? I mean, everyone else is still supremely pissed at me. Ingolstadt, right. They're an ally. They... We own some of their core provinces, huh? So we do. We have one of their core provinces. So we might be able to vassalize them. Uh, okay. There's no way we can vassalize Silly. But it's a decent ally to have. No, it's not. Not better than Hungary. All right, never mind, silly. I can't vassalize you. I'll just kill you instead. Oh, part of the reason why a lot of these countries hate us, too, is the unlawful territory, which is basically just doubling up on the aggressive expansion. So even if these guys don't, you know, hate me, hate me for the aggressive expansion, they would still hate me for the unlawful territory. Let's see, they were forced to release Nitra, but that's it. I've also never seen Hungary expand from Gulf to Shining Gulf. <laughs> Alright, let's start getting claims on Hungary. Orleans popped out. Ooh, I see. Protected by the Papal State. Could I vassalize them? We, they would not want it. Alliance with Morocco is breaking. I mean, sure. You know what might be a good idea is if I can get as many allies as I possibly can before going to war. That way, they won't get hit as hard by the, uh, by the aggressive expansion. Oh, the truce with Hungary is up means we can declare this war. They are allied to Denmark, Kiev, and Moravia, which I can bring in. I don't even need to bring in allies. You just have like one army go straight up to Denmark, who only has 30,000 troops. This army can go into Hungary. And then who else? Kiev? Oh, that's all the way over there. Okay. And you know what I kind of want to do? Just take like two provinces, get a border with the Ottomans. Oh, geez. Maybe not. The Ottomans are kind of big and scary. 300 and 330,000 troops. That's scary. Uh, who are your allies again? Kiev and Moravia. Where's Moravia? Okay, so you're two little baby shit allies. <coughs> I 
I could call Great Britain into this war just to make it that much easier. Let's just do this. Uh, actually, let's call Holland in. Oh, you know what? This is a bad idea. I can't siege down Denmark. <laughs> yeah, let's just let Great Britain handle them, uh, handle them then. Take another ability, I guess. Uh, War score versus other religions. We're only really fighting against Catholics right now. Unless we do get a border with the Ottomans, but whew, that would be very difficult to do. Let's just do institution spread. Munich entered the coalition, even though we're already kind of here. Bohemia is at war with Nitra. That means I might be able to share a border with... Oh, jeez. We're actually losing that battle? Couldn't get to them in time, but there we go. Wow. What is this? Tenth government reform? I never usually get this far. Uh, years of separatism, absolutism, tech cost minus 10%. Diplo tech cost minus 10% or admin tech cost minus 10%. Uh, I don't know. A bonus is a bonus. Should be able to peace out Denmark now. A good amount of money. War reps. Give up claims in England. They don't want to do that. Alright, that's fine. Now, let's do this kind of peace deal. We don't need these coastal provinces. I do want to border the Ottomans, as ill-advised as that is. In this province right here, so we can border the Bohemians as well. Money, whoa. we can humiliate them too. Our power projection's already at 100. We don't need a humiliation. There we go. We have another fort right on the border there. Let's spy on Bohemia. Or rather, let's spy on the Ottomans. It would be incredibly ill-advised to go to war with the Ottomans. Because there, there's really no competition except for maybe Russia, who has already gotten a big bite taken out of them. They're at war with Mara, which is probably a small, who cares kind of country. Dahl is huge. Would Morocco be an ally again? No, nah, they're, they're... They're threatened by us. Could have released Croatia. Hmm. Can I stop coring real quick? That's silly and a grom. I can. Okay. So silly and a grom. I'll save those points and I will release Croatia as a vassal.
And now they have reconquest cores on the Ottomans and the Hungarians. Looks like the Ottomans have declared war on Hungary as well. They have 400,000 troops. That is insane. Enemies are Spain and Russia. Can I rival the Ottomans? I feel like I should be able to. I am uh, fourth on the Great Powers list. They have 2,000 development? Oh my goodness. Okay. I can rival the Ottomans. Now, theoretically, if I were to, to declare war on them, Great Britain and Portugal would join. Papal States would not. Oh, they're allied to Morocco. Hmm. So... If I want to go to war with the Ottomans, I really need to either ally Russia, who they don't care about us, they never will care about us, and they don't trust us, or Spain, I need to re-ally, which they are hostile towards us, but, uh, no, we can't even get them to plus 100. If we waited for aggressive expansion to go all the way down, we have border friction. They want some of our provinces. They want a lot of our Italian holdings, which really sucks. Mm. And we're allied to one of their rivals. It was probably England. So if I wanted them right now, I could probably unally myself from their rival of Great Britain and then send them a gift that would give them 25 so let's see about that so let's <laughs> we can trade favors for ducats we can trade favors for trust again uh I've trust for 10 favors. Oh, let's just get some money. And then what we might be able to do is... We can send them a gift. <laughs> we would have to send them... 2,500 gold to get plus 25 relations. Which we have loans right now. But we are making money. If I were to lower army maintenance, that would be plus 80. We don't really have rebels on the rise, so let's lower that army maintenance, see what we can do. Because if we can get Spain again... Okay, what we can do... We don't even have to... Uh, we don't have to take away our own alliance with England. We can just send them a really fat gift. That'll be enough to get them to plus 100. They should no longer be outraged at us at plus 100 relations. That's fine. Send them a gift. This is a very expensive investment, but it better pay off, damn it. Let's do 22, 23. Russia has announced us as a rival. That's cool. 
But now, Spain is friendly towards us. And now, we can ally Spain. And that means we have Spain and Britain as allies. And that means... Let's see, let's reset all of our idle guys. That means we can go to war with the Ottomans. So first things first, let's have our diplomats. Okay, another alliance with Orleans, the Teutons. It would be nice to have the Teutons again. I'm not going to care about going over. I want strong allies. Sounds like silly Nitra. Let's get Nitra as an ally. I don't know if they would join. Well, they might join us because they have a border. Then what we can do is send all of our dudes to outraged countries, four of them. Uh, allies, one of them. And then these other three will be just as they are. And let's see. Spain would want land. I can give them land. You bet. Teutons and Great Britain would come in. Nitra is already at war with the Ottomans. Okay. So I didn't need to ally them. That'll save me a point. So I can have Spain, the Teutons, and Great Britain all come in on this war. It would be very risky, but if Spain could knock out Morocco like ASAP, maybe, hold on, could I ally the Songhai? And have them come in against Morocco. No? Okay. This would be... An interesting and costly war. But... Reconquest for a bunch of their cores. Portugal would not join because they are fighting in another war. Portugal, please end your war against... Malgana. I hate it when they're at war with tribes and they're like, nope, sorry. I could take Defender of the Faith. Do the... Proclaim Holy War. All these tiny modifiers would help us out. Let's actually take a look at... Uh, military army quality. Hamburg is 6 morale. Uh, Alright, because... Yeah. Discipline. Vijayanagar is at 130%. Jeez. Ottomans are at 115 discipline. Allies and rivals. Let's do this. Siege ability. We're only at 17%. But the highest defensiveness, of course. Professionalism goes to the Ottomans. Tradition goes to the Teutons. Um... Yeah, if you want to cook now, you can. Jeez. That army from the Ottomans is so big. Uh, Their force limit is also 400. Maybe not yet for the Ottomans. Oh. 
Austria's been excommunicated? Uh, they're still in... <laughs> they're still in the uh, coalition, so can't really do much about that. We have the numbers advantage, but because we would be a number of different uh, armies and stacks and timings, mm, I'm not confident. What is this? Great Britain wants to conquest Orleans. Allied to the Papal State. Unlucky. Well, if you're going to do this war, then give me stuff. Ooh, Bohemia left the coalition. That's really good. Uzbek is threatening our trade. Ah, a new leader. It's been so long. None of these leaders are that bad, but there definitely is a best one, and that's Stefan Guy. Let's roll the dice, and we got the worst one. Cool. Ottomans at war with a lot of the HRE right now. We'll see how much they lose, but everyone would come in now. Hmm. I'm thinking the time is nigh. My only issue is I wouldn't be able to take anything from them until... I can get through Hungary here. Right before I do that too, I'll do uh, Defender of the Faith. Let's drill and drill for now. Soon. Soon we will declare on the Ottomans. <laughs> that was a death stack of 200,000 people. I may be overestimating how difficult this is. Which, I mean, yeah. I could go to war with France and... Yeah, let's do that. Have to spy on them again. Alright, another election. 404, 255, 235. Let's take the hit to our uh, Republican tradition because I do want the 255 before we start this war. Let's get a claim on Paris. Let's finally eliminate the thorn in our side that is France. use these armies over here just to get a little bit more I just want like one province from Hungary that way we could actually uh, border the Ottomans and then get a shitload of land from there so seven years ahead of time in the technology Take Paris. Shouldn't even take that long. Munich, where are they? Right here, sure. I just want this one province and then some money. Now we actually 
border the Ottomans. Let's get some more claims. Let's finally take Paris and make France invisible now. Wait, they have another province somewhere? Where? Fernando Po. They have <laughs> one island in Africa. Okay. You you can have that one island in Africa. You can keep that. And uh, now you're going to be Catholic too. Hello everyone and welcome to the end of this video where uh, I do have to uh, admit that I made a huge mistake because when I was making the videos and uh, doing that, uh, rendering them out, I named the videos the same as the VODs that I say that uh, you know I was pulling from. So I accidentally deleted all of the VODs from my my computer. I overwrote them. There's no way to get them back. Uh, so I wanted part six to be the last war against the Ottomans, but uh, yeah, that's not happening. So unfortunately, you won't be able to see part six of Switzer Lake, uh, which would have been the final part. But I will do a, a final time lapse because we stopped in 1609 and right now I'm in 1614 and you can see right there. It was a two year long war where I took a lot, a huge bite out of the Ottomans. And the fact it was only like two, three years long, like it was a very easy war. It was not as hard as you might think because I had a lot of strong allies come in and help me. And it was just not that hard of a war at all. Also because our troop quality was insane. Uh, after that, uh, I had to go into one last war against Hungary. And you can see right there where we ended. I ate the last few bits of Hungary that I wanted over in Hungary. They've been pushed all the way over into, uh, what is this, Carpathia, Ruthenia? I don't, I don't know. But uh, yeah, that is how this ended. And unfortunately, you won't be able to see those last two wars because I accidentally deleted the VODs, which, uh, you know, I'm stupid and you can call me stupid. That's why I'm wearing the dunce hat here. But uh, I hope you enjoyed this uh, video series. I apologize that the ending is so flaccid, but I mean, I made a huge error. And well, now I know in the future to name my VODs and my videos two different things so I don't accidentally overwrite them. So thank you very much for watching this video series, all five parts of Switzer Lake. Again, sorry that uh, there is going to be no part six with these last two wars. I feel bad about it, but uh, it was only five more years of gameplay. My, We can uh, go back to, you know, out of the timeline and everything is going wrong because I just wanted to end it as fast as I can. We're about to have religious turmoil. Our overextension is at 200 percent. Uh, our gov cap is still pretty good, though. And uh, yeah, uh, overall, this run was a lot of fun, even though it was a lot of slow and steady. I am not really used to playing that slow and steady play style, so to have to play that way was different. And, you know, I had a lot of fun with it. So thank you very much for watching this video, this video series. Look forward to the next one where uh, I don't know what I'm going to be doing in the next video. So. Look forward to it.